So then we go in, of course, to, to the real Georgia Tech, which is a, before the game, I said if we could beat Georgia Tech, that that was a real, real test. I would say we had a great team then. Well, that's Pat Trammell in the early part of the Tech game throwing to Butch Wilson out there for a first down. And uh, it was a real big first down. Jimmy Dill was blocking for him. Here comes Cotton Clark. It was a real couple of nice blocks there. Uh, Cotton Clark running with the football. I think Butch Wilson was one of the blockers. It was doing real well. Tech is a big, strong team. Bigger than North. That was a great play by Pat Trammell. He did not have the end block. And he got rid of the ball and got it to Butch Wilson for the first down. I tell you, uh, we played the game where I was responsible. Fine blocking there, fine blocking on the part of Billy Neighbors, Tommy Booker, and Jimmy Sharp, who moved him out of there along with John O'Ling. He looked at that line, pushed him back here. Great option play by Pat Trammell. Here's a nice block by Butch Wilson. And watch that Frocky turn on the speed. Mike turns it on and goes down the sideline there for the for a touchdown, which is a real big one. Actually, in the latter part of the game, when we were playing it real close, uh, we might have done a little better. But uh, what these boys want to do and what we all want to do is win the football game. So that puts Alabama out in front. And uh, without that tremendous speed, look at that spraying in Mike's legs there. He jumps and uh, puts his arm around Billy Richardson. Tommy Brooker's kicking off. The week before, we played Richmond, as you know, and won the game 66 to nothing. With a lot of long runs and exciting football, that was the alumni day. I mean, the, it was an exciting game for the alumni. But uh, any game is a win, and uh, glad to get that one behind us. They did run a slot here, and in this particular, the Village Abrams jumps through there and makes a real fine play. It was a good pursuit for all of them. But uh, Georgia Tech used unbalanced line quite a bit on this particular day. The slot formation you see there now is a normal formation. They ran a trap play there, and Jimmy Wilson, Darwin Holt, and Jimmy Sharp and Leroy Jordan, all of them in on it, uh, played real well defensively. I think Georgia Tech only gained 35 yards running with the ball. They gained some passing late in the game. And that's what I call wonderful pursuit there. Curtis Crenshaw was out into that, along with Charlie Pell, Richard, Richard Williamson. Richard Williamson had a real big year for Alabama this year. He's not a strong man physically, but he has a, he's a strong-hearted young man. He's from Fort Thomas. Again, the kick there that dies down uh, on the 31. I don't recall what happened right after that. They, Pat Trammell coming out on the option play here. The end makes him eliminate, eliminates and makes him throw the ball. That's real fine running on the part of Mike Frocky. Mike did some uh, terrific running this year. He was injured in the Auburn game, and uh, but recovered in time to play in the Sugar Bowl game. Trammell is passing here, as you can see. He's not... Pretty fair protection, pretty fair protection, I would say. Excellent protect, protection, as a matter of fact. And uh, he completes the pass to Butch Wilson. Butch Wilson, uh, as I said earlier, I think is a greatly underestimated uh, his ability. He doesn't get the credit he deserves. Now, here's Timmy Davis. He's from Georgia, kicking a field goal, put the Alabama in front 10 to nothing. And believe you me, with that team this year, when you got out in front 10 nothing, that was pretty safe. So the final score then was Alabama 10 and Georgia Tech nothing.